Hello and welcome to another episode of the Transportation Exchange Podcast presented by Rush Truck Centers of Canada. I'm your host, Jason Cuddy. On today's episode, we're excited to welcome Lou Haddad from Star. Lou, welcome to the podcast. Hey, thanks, Jason. On, on behalf of Navistar Customer Solutions, thank you for the invitation. Uh, we're really excited to partake in this. And uh, as, as you know, Rush is our largest dealer in Canada and our number one largest dealer group across North America. So thank you again for having us. Yes, for sure. So you were in our dealership a couple months ago, kind of going through uh, extended service contracts and you know, just me sitting there, I picked up a lot of useful information. I thought, you know what, this is a topic that probably doesn't get enough light within the industry, especially from the uh, the original purchase of a vehicle. A lot of, you know, extended warranties on used equipment you see a lot marketing wise. But I thought, you know, since this is your baby, we'd have you on and kind of walk us through, you know, the kind of the whole platform of what's available for, from the dealership level, kind of what what's the difference is, you know, why, why I go with it and kind of what's all involved. So I thought, you know, we'd start uh, you know, with the international product line of, you know, kind of walk us through what, what do you offer from a, from a new purchase as far as the, the different service contracts that are available? So, so that's a great question, Jason. That's a question that a lot of our customers um, don't, don't know. Uh, and, and one of the things is, you know, from the, from the dealer perspective at the dealer level, the sales consultant, the managers, you know, discussing warranty, uh, long-term ownership. Um, we offer everything from, you know, a basic engine warranty all the way to a full EVC coverage and towing coverage. Uh, we do um, a large, we have a whole uh, a, a whole employee chain of a whole employee team at Navistar that does custom contracts. So um, uh, since none, none of my uh, colleagues are on here except you and I today, I can say that I always, I always say, if you can think of it, and for a cost, we'll we'll look at it and analyze it, and we'll write it um, to give you, you know, just a, as a basic answer to that. I mean, so we'll write custom contracts. We write lots of those, uh, especially with municipal and government, and school bus, things like that, um, uh, heavy-duty, HX, vocational. Th- those all play a big role in custom contracts. So we, we write a variety, and everything we write, um, at Navistar is a factory backed service contract. So factory backed is always the best, uh, not just because I work for Navistar, but any factory backed because um, at Navistar, we, we, we there's never a ceiling or never a, 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 you hit a quota on, on the number of claims. So we never have a ceiling there. We're always there to take care of the customer. There's not never a deductible there, especially on the new side. Um, you know, they, they usually transfer rate right there with the, bin number and go to the next offering to the next owner right there uh which makes it very easy makes it an upsell right there to uh for the for the next owner to look at value as well so we're we're there to take care of the customer we're there to pay claims when catastrophic events occur we're there to create peace of mind uh for that customer for the dealer network uh or yeah to keep to keep business going uh, time is money in the trucking industry. So when that truck is tied up for a period of time, that's costing everyone involved money right there. So um, it, it's good to be able to to uh, have master technicians in our dealerships like we have across North America, be able to analyze and look at health reports, look at it, it data there and solve problems, get warranties, warranty claims put through get part new parts put on, get warranty claims completed and get the customer back on the road to continue their business right there. That is their mobile office, as I always say. Yeah, no, that's a good point. And, you know, you touched on, you know, deductible to coverage limits. And that's, I think that's key for people to understand, you know, from the get go, you know, everything's, as long as you've got coverage on it, everything's taken care of, right? It's not a whole bunch of going after you over and over again with, you know, hey, we need this, we need that. Like, you're covered from start to finish, which is which is really nice. Um, you know, especially getting into a new vehicle. To your point, time is money, and, and the thing needs to be on the road, making money for for the customer. Yeah. So service extended service contracts or extended warranties, as they talk, as they um, reference them a lot in the Canadian market. There, um, you know, it, it it sets the tone for driving value to the customer for long term ownership, long term customer and client support together. Uh, that that for any catastrophic event that occurs, I, I and the reason I say that is, you know, when we deal with whether it's a, a single owner operator or a major fleet, 
uh, I don't know any type of company in those two areas, you know, so from a, from single point operator, so A, all the way to Z, to the major fleets that keep a buffer in their operating budget for catastrophic events. So a extended warranty, a service contract helps minimize that expense right there. Yes, it's an expense up front, but when it when it's over time right there and it's in over time of ownership, let's say five, six, seven years, one catastrophic event more than pays for itself. So, um, you know, especially when you're when you're dealing with brand new international parts, brand, uh, master technicians at the dealer, no deductibles, things like that, 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 that those are key elements right there that, that drive the service contract extended warranty business, I believe. Uh, that's a good point. And, and as we're seeing with the technology and, you know, new carb rules, the, things are getting more complicated, more, more complex. It just, it takes a bit more time to get through. There's a lot more, you know, parts involved. It, it, traditionally we've, the default, you know, I've seen, uh, you know, at the dealership level is a lot of people go engine after treatment. That's kind of the the default go-to because that's, you know, that's the the heart of obviously the vehicle. And obviously there's, you know, s- different, you know, service contracts you can tie into that based on mileage or hours if you're on highway or off highway. But you know, I guess another one that maybe doesn't get a lot of attention is, say, the full chassis coverage, all the other components outside of the engine and and after treatment that you know are covered or are available to be covered with this extended service contracts. Correct, and that is that. That's a great point you bring up because that is something that Navistar as a company is looking at because as technology continues to evolve in the trucking world, right there, and as our our vehicles become more complex, let's just say, um, you know. Seven years ago, five years ago, engine and after treatment was was the sweet spot right there. And that's sort of the go to. Um, but now EVC and chassis coverage is what we, we really want to transfer. We want to, you know, make the dealer transform and pivot from just engine and after treatment to selling chassis coverages, EVC, for example, right there. That's the most comprehensive, most complex coverage that we offer right there. Yes, there's a cost associated with it, just like there's a cost associated with a loaf of bread or a gallon of fuel or uh, anything like that. But when you're looking at the 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 level of coverage, when you're looking at the noun, as we call it, or component list is the more general term right there that EVC and chassis covers today, you say to yourself, gee, do I want good, better, or best? And 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 best coverage for an asset like a a you know a tractor or, or you know an uh, an HX vehicle vocational vehicle, best coverage is the way to go. I mean, so you're never second guessing, never shortcutting yourself. Yes, again, a cost is associated there, but when you look at the value right there, you're looking at the amount of coverage you're getting. It, it takes it, it all that complexity that and all that technology that's in our vehicles today it's there to cover those components. Yeah, that's a good point. And there is so much, right? Electrical specifically, a lot of computers, a lot of, you know, computer modules, sensors. There's a lot more than there was, you know, a handful of years ago. You know, today we, we um, when you look at noun coverages and you can print those out in our, in our Navistar dealer portal there and present to customers, you know, engine after treatment just alone. And, and again, that's that that was the sweet spot there five, six, seven years ago. And I mean, we still sell a lot of it today. Don't get me wrong. But that level of coverage is around five to seven pages of eight and a half by 11 on print at 12, 12 point font. You know, so when you get into EVC, that, that's 14, 16 pages of, of of components right there. So it's almost overwhelming. But when you're looking at you know, the cost of this asset today, the cost of labor, the cost of parts, all of those things right there, and, and the level and years of, of operating and ownership right there, EVC is is really the way to go, right? Yeah. And I guess to partner up with, with the EVC side, um, you know, you've got the supplier coverages that can be extended as well, which, you know, Cummins is obviously the default with, with, the, with you know, external engine providers, uh, Eaton, Allison, Hendrickson, you know, items that maybe again, get overlooked sometimes outside of the engine after treatment, and even just the electrical side of the vehicle. Yeah, so so when you buy an EVC warranty, you know, the transmission's part of that, um, you know, we, we, we take that risk on. So we, we're, we're going to, we're going to mitigate that risk and handle everything, handle the, com, the, the, the coverage right there under EVC to where if you're buying them, you know, a la carte, let's just say there, there are different components right there that different levels of coverage through the different, 
uh, you know, eaten and things like that that we also offer. But under EVC, and again, I'm 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 here to sell EVC, but not here to sell EVC because I, I do believe in it. I've studied it enough. Um, it, it, it's a one stop shop where you don't have that. You, you don't have a lot of those gray areas right there. Well, that's a good point because I know you know from our end, you know, on, on the sales consulting side, you know, engine after treatment was the default, and that's still kind of the go to with customers. But then they'll start picking, right? They'll they will a la carte it with you know, okay, give me an extended transmission or give me extended clutch warranty, different items. Where to your point, based on on their usage, and if you look at the cost difference, the you know the the total vehicle the EVC coverage, you know, which does have those items in there for for the extra few dollars, might just be a a, a better investment, you know, long term. Right, exactly, because you're covering so many more components. That that's the 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 technology, as I call it, right there. The you know uh, more in the electrical things like that. To where you know currently today we still offer those as as uh, you know one off contracts and things like that, or additional contracts. Um, but to your point, EBC, it's the it's it's the full wrap. It's the most comprehensive. Again, I repeat myself, but the most comprehensive coverage that we offer right there and it, and at at a premium dollar yes i realize that but there's also premium components and premium parts that require lots of training as you see your your uh, your team members there are constantly taking updated training through navistar and and you know components and parts are obviously cha- continuously changing so the um one thing about this industry that i learned early early on as i joined automotive over two decades ago is is this industry is constantly changing so embrace the change and keep moving forward and don't let it grow don't 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 let it grow past you because you'll never get caught up again so a good point and i guess to help mitigate some of that change what i really kind of caught my ear when you, when you were presenting to us you know, a couple months ago was the, the custom you know design service center contracts and you, you touched on it briefly when we first started chatting but it's something honestly i, I didn't realize was, was really available or, or to the robustness that i guess you provide maybe walk us through kind of you know a couple different scenarios or you know what obviously you can like as you mentioned you can tailor to anything but you know what what are some of the things you guys have done in the past that you know people would be surprised to know you could you could do so i always tell this story and it's it's sort of uh you know i obviously I date myself here, but um, I looked at a, um, a school bus contract. Um, a, a certain municipality requested us to write extended service contracts on seating in buses. And I laughed because I said, when I rode a bus many, many years ago, they were kind of rickety and stuff. And today they're very luxurious. And um, this particular municipality at requested a, a contract that was obviously there was dollars associated with it as well. I mean, everything costs to, to cover um, but we, we write a lot of electrical contracts under bus, uh, a lot of our custom contracts for uh, uh, prepackaged electronics are in our municipal vehicles, you know, our plow vehicles, things that are used on the highway to remove snow in our local municipalities and governments across North America. So we write a lot of those kinds of coverage and we write coverages, for example, in in, in vocational vehicles like that or or you know, plow trucks, as I like to call them, we write a, you know, a longer term, shorter miles because they get a lot of use when the snow flies, but then they're just a lot of idle time while they're doing road work in the summer, summer months there. Um, so we do write those. So, and, and, and um, I'm sure when um, my, my custom, uh, my, my, my colleagues in, the, in our custom team hear this podcast someday, they, they'll send me a, they'll, they'll send me say, why did you say that? But I always say, if you can think of it, we will write it for or analyze it and write it for it all for for a cost right there associated with it. So that's a good point because I I could think of a couple of customers I have who you know have unique you know operational challenges with regards to miles and and terms. So you know the standard warranty that you normally can offer you know as we build a vehicle uh, it, it works, but it doesn't you know it's either overkill on one or the other, right? It, yeah, it's right. too long or it's too many miles. They don't do enough, you know, or it's just. They, they can't get to certain places or, or you know, whatever your application is. It's just not conducive to, you know, for lack of words, the standard available extended warranty. Vocational is a great example of custom because, you know, cement mixers and things like that that are out there that, you know, we, we don't we take for granted. We don't even think about until, you know, so any of those types of units right there. So extended warranty service contract, I always say, is like healthcare 
when 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 you're when you're going along with life and you're you know just everyday operations of of your general life and and living your life you don't really necessarily think about healthcare or medical or anything like that until you're sick and then you go okay where's my medical where's my so when the when the when the unit is ill or when the unit's sick and it needs to go to one of our state of the art physicians there at the, at the dealer to be to be um to be cured of its illness it's so good to have that coverage right there. It takes away all the burden of how much is this going to cost because price of parts and labor continue to rise. There's not, no one can do anything about that, but that, that, yeah, that's additional. a good, so it's a good analogy that someone taught me many, many years ago. So it wasn't like I thought of that myself, but I like to use it um, that, you know, that, then, then it takes away all that, that burden, so to speak, or the what if or what, how much is this going to cost me? Yeah, and how much is huge, right? You said we've we've seen you know parts challenges, costs escalating. Obviously, if you purchase a contract at a certain point, you know you're you're covered within the contract. So yeah, I, I talk to dealers from from all parts of North America here, and and you know not to but but you know I'm I'm today to talk about engines. You know we we get thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar engine engine repairs or over or replacements right there. So uh, you know to have that contract. It's well more than paid for itself if that if that catastrophic. And I always lean towards major events when I talk about catastrophic things because I always think, you know, it's never, if anyone's luck's like mine, it's never the simple thing that happens. It's always the major right there, you know. So it's 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 a it's it's a great way to protect your investment for long term ownership or long term uh life cycle of the unit. Yeah, good point. And you know, the other thing you guys do offer outside of brand new is obviously we do sell a lot of used vehicles that, you know, get turned in off lease or get traded in, you know, for a new vehicle. And especially what we've been through the last couple of years, as far as, you know, customers not being able to get equipment quick enough, buying some used equipment, having to keep vehicles on the road. You guys have some, you know, pretty extensive service contracts for, you know, for, for qualifying keyword used vehicles, but maybe we'll kind of walk us through what, what, what do you guys offer on the use side? Sure. So two years ago, when when a lot of production problems were occurring, we had a lot of customers out there that that had some ordered units that had to keep those units, the, the current units, in service longer. So, um, our uh, product development team at Navistar, who does a very good job, I think, of understanding customers' needs, uh, develop what they call the Worry Free Bridge Program. And the Worry Free Bridge Program is for qualified units. Uh, it has to fit a certain model year criteria, for example, 2017 to 2023. Um, and there's uh, several levels of coverage right there. And it's an it's a Navistar factory backed. So it's treated just like the new vehicle coverage right there. There's no deductible, no ceiling, uh, no limits of liability, things like that, that all of the third parties out there generally have in their contract. Um, we keep it back to the basics of being factory backed and and taking care of the customer there again um the vehicle has to have meet mileage requirements right there which are pretty simple based on the type of unit it is and has to have a clean health report and it, it's a very easy it's a one stop shop there's engine and after treatment there's EVC which is the extended vehicle coverage that we spoke in great lengths about there on the news side which also includes the transmission and towing there or you can get the complete bundle and um, it's it's very simple. It shows up right there in the in the service portal on the Navistar service side. So customer doesn't have to produce a contract or show up with anything or call a phone, call a claim in or anything like that. We make it very easy. Uh, has to have a clean health report and it's and it's done very easy. And uh, Ray from your used truck organization and Carol from your uh, business office and finance and insurance office right there do a very good job of getting those uh, helping get those, uh, showing the value there, selling those, and obviously getting those remitted to Navistar so they're on the customer's profile. Yeah, and I think the the key thing you touched on there uh, from from a customer experience point of view, obviously, you know, the same sort of coverage as far as parts and, and service, but it's the ease of doing that where you know obviously the the outside the dealership world uh, there are extended coverages on used vehicles, but it's okay. you know, it's got a different process. Everyone handles it differently. Um, where this is. It's just more seamless for for the for the customer as far as interacting with the dealership and, and speeds up the turnaround time, takes a lot of admin out of from the dealership side and just overall it's it's a better, quicker experience, obviously, just going with the factory backed on the used equipment. 
Exactly. You touched on a key thing, ease of doing business. And and I, that's that's a, that's a motto I like to do. I, I like to ride on the ease of doing business for everyone, for our folks that look at claims at Navistar, for our people that are on the service fields, field service side of it, for our customer, customer uh, solutions folks like myself that are out there offering these programs to the dealer network, to the dealer and the and the sales consultant and their team there as well to be able to offer these. I, I like the ease of doing business to be to make it no deductible, no limits liability, transferable, all those things like that 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 the new side offers as well. So makes it makes it very easy to do business and continue that vehicle's life beyond just the extended service contract that it had from from when it was new. Yeah. Oh, good point. And, you know, whether it's new or used, like you said, ease of doing business and, and, you know, taking out any additional costs, you know, after the initial purchase is kind of the key benefit of the extended service contract, whether it's new or, or used, you know, it's just a great investment. Correct. Excellent. Hey, uh, that's a great overview of what you and your team offer uh, through, through Navistar on, on our different product lines. And I, I think it was a great, you know, dive into to a bit of what's available and obviously people can reach out to dealerships directly and get a little bit more insight you know based on their application and their trucks but i do appreciate you kind of giving us the overview of, of what your team offers with regards to new and used product lines great well thank you i appreciate you having me yes for sure well hey that concludes today's episode and i want to thank lou from navistar for joining us and to catch up on past episodes check out transportation exchange podcast.ca and until next time thanks for listening <laughs>